we go. Today we're gonna be having a look at the XPG GameX S50 Lite. This is a two terabyte NVMe SSD 2280. That's the size, and it is PCIe Gen 4 by 4. So it's supposed to be a little bit faster than the PCIe 3.0. Actually, the PCIe 4.0 is supposed to be much faster, but because this is a budget version of PCIe 4.0, they only advertising it to be as fast as 3900 megabyte per read and 32 megabyte write speed. So yeah, this is kind of cool because we, I got this one for pretty cheap. It was pretty much the same price as the one that was a PCIe 3.0, but this is a newer version. And it also has an NVMe 1.4, unlike my previous one, which was only NVMe 1.3. And that one was working really great. Yeah, today we're going to be having a look at this. We're just going to go quickly through the unboxing. And then we're also going to install it in the laptop, in my new laptop. This is a Lenovo Legion 5. See how it's going to handle it. So yeah, let's stay tuned for that. And if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. If you have any comments, questions, leave them in the comment section below. And if you find this video helpful, give it a like. Thank you very much and let's go. All right, first things first, let's go ahead and open it up. I got my small knife for that. There we go. Yeah, as you see here, it's a, it's a two terabyte drive, M2. 2280 size GameX S50 Lite. There is an S70 version which is supposed to be quite a bit faster but it's also quite a bit more expensive. I find this is a good choice between price and performance so we're just gonna go ahead and try this one because the other one is over like $400 at the moment so this one was only $270 which is way more reasonable for the two terabyte drive. Let's go ahead and pull it out. It's so shiny that my light is shining all over. But yeah, as you see, it's really tiny. It already got a nice shiny heatsink attached to it. Unlike in my other video where you saw the XPG S6 8200, that one didn't have this heatsink attached and I had to do it manually. And actually I showed in the video how to do that. But this one already comes with a heatsink attached and you don't need to do anything. So you just plug it in right in your computer and it will already automatically have the heatsink. Some of the more expensive versions come with the bigger heatsinks, but because I was buying this for my laptop, I don't need that bigger heatsink anyway. So I decided to just stick with a smaller one. Yeah, this is it. And I even might have to remove this heatsink if my laptop already has the heatsink. I think Lenovo Legion 5, they already have the heatsink installed in the laptop so I might just use the same heatsink that came with the laptop or I might remove it and keep this one. We'll see how it goes. I haven't taken my laptop apart yet so we'll see what we want to do. But yeah, as you see it's really tiny. Here's my remote for my camera and it is actually smaller than the remote for my camera so really really tiny. So it's only 80 millimeter long and 22 millimeter wide so this is a little bit over two centimeters wide and eight centimeters long so this is really tiny and yet yeah, is this is the fastest memory for storage to date right now like this type of memory not the not this particular one but this type of memory NVMe this is the fastest storage you can get nowadays and uh, maybe they'll come up with something faster sometime but at this point, this is the fastest you can get. Yeah, okay, let's go ahead and install it and see how it works, do some tests and see if actually the write and read speed are gonna be the same as advertised. Okay, let's go ahead and do it. If you would like to check the full installation video, I'm gonna put a link in the upper right corner as well as one in the description. So if you wanna check it out, it's gonna be there. Otherwise, let's just go get started with test and see what the results are gonna be. All right, there we go, guys. So as you can see, I have added this ADATA SSD drive to my laptop. And right now I have an extra 1.86 terabyte available. I have already filled it up with some footage, with some files. And I can tell you right away, it's working great. It's really fast. 
but let's see how actually fast it is. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do a couple tests. Let's say I'm just gonna copy this folder with video footage. As you can see, it's a 10.3 gigabyte altogether. So I'm just gonna transfer it from this ADATA that we just got installed to the other SSD drive that originally came with this laptop. And the other SSD that I have is actually a Micron with a very long number here. So, and it's a 512 gigabyte uh, version. And it only has 476 available, as always, less than it's actually posted. So we're gonna copy files from this new XPG GameX to the Micron SSD and vice versa, see how it's gonna perform. And then also we're gonna do one more synthetic test uh, using the Crystal Disk Mark, see how that's gonna perform. And I'm gonna compare it to my previous test where I have tested this ADATA XPG SX8200, see how that's gonna compare to this new PCIe Gen 4 SSD. So let's go ahead and try it out. All right, there we go. Let's go ahead and start it. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna copy this so you can see right now, and then I'm just gonna paste it here. There we go. So the speed is 1.72. Wow, it's like one and three quarter of a gigabyte. So pretty impressive speed as you can see. And let's go ahead and try to do it backwards now. Let's go ahead and do another test. I'm just gonna create a new folder and I'm gonna do exactly the same thing, but this time I'm gonna copy from the original SSD, the, the Micron SSD that was installed on the laptop, back to the new ADATA Gimmicks S50 Lite. So I'm just gonna do that again and paste. So it's just a little bit slower, as you can see, it's about one and a half gigabyte per second, but still pretty impressive i got this huge folder about 10 gigabyte copied in within probably like five six seconds so definitely really fast so yeah as you can see it works really great and um, and now let's go ahead and do the crystal disk mark test as well to see some numbers and see how it performs in synthetic tests there we go let's go ahead and run the crystal disk mark and see how it's going to perform and we just got to choose the right drive. So this is the two terabyte drive right here. And it's only 24% full. So we got lots of room left. So these tests are not recommended to be run very often because they do reduce the lifetime of the drive itself because they do write and read operations in different sequences. So if you're going to be doing it every day, you might significantly decrease the lifespan of your drive. So don't do that. But for this video, I'm just gonna do it once and see how it's gonna perform. It's just gonna be doing a basic test. So let's go ahead and do it all. And I'm just gonna speed it up so that we're gonna have a look at the results and we don't need to wait that long, okay? <laughs> There we go. So here are the results. And honestly, I am impressed by these results. They're very good. They're better than my previous results that I had with the ADATA XPG SX8200. I believe by not, not by much, but they are better. And yeah, I can see there is an improvement. If you compare it to my previous results, there is a bit of improvement. So it is a bit faster. I got a better controller probably and faster memory. But uh, overall, like these results are super impressive. Having about three and a half gigabyte of read speed and 3.2 gigabyte of write speed, that's really a lot. And just to compare, let's go ahead and compare my Micron SSD, the one I, that I already have installed on this laptop that came with Lenovo laptop. Let's go check it out. And it is gonna be the Micron SSD, I believe. Yeah, it's a Micron SSD. So let's go ahead and test it out. <laughs> Not bad, not bad. As you can see, the results are pretty impressive. I'm still getting about three and a half gigabyte of the read speed and 2.7 gigabyte of the write speed, which are really good results for the PCIe 3.0 and for a budget level SSD drive. 
Of course, you can get a top of the line Samsung SSD drive that's going to be using PCIe 4.0. And if you have PCIe 4.0 on your motherboard, then you might be getting even higher results, which are going to be around 7 gigabyte per second read and write speed. But those drives usually cost like twice the price. So for the budget level, I think this is a really good drive and I think it's totally worth it. And another good thing that the Lenovo actually had put a good drive. They didn't cheap out on the on the M2 NVMe drive because some of the drives are not as good and they only give out like 1.5 gigabyte. So in this case, they have put a really good drive and I think it's really nice of them. If we compare it side by side, on the left you see the ADATA GameX S50 Lite results and this is the Micron SSD. As you can see, they're pretty close, but there's still some not much, but there's some difference in the read speed and there is a little bit more difference in the write speed as well. So this ADATA GameX S50 Lite is faster almost everywhere. You can see all the results, except for some of them, but overall it is faster. And keep in mind, this is a PCIe 4.0, even though this laptop only supports PCIe 3.0, but it's backward compatible. So this is why it's working like this so this faster speed might be due to its newer interface or maybe just having a faster memory and faster controller but anyway i think for this laptop having these results is really incredible and just a few years ago having this speed in your laptop or on your computer would be just unbelievable and i can definitely recommend this ssd drive like the one that i had before the adata xpg s68200 so they're pretty close to each other and you can check my other video about the ADATA XPG S6-8200. If you prefer to take that one, that one's fine as well. But this one would be a better purchase because you're getting PCIe 4.0. So in case your motherboard does support PCIe 4.0, you can get uh, a little bit faster speeds out of it. Let's go ahead and see what it says on the box and see if the results are actually valid. And if you look up here, the max performance read up is up to 3900 megabytes per second. So I would say it's really close, 3500. Yes, you're losing about 400 megabytes per second, but you know, this would be like a real world condition. So it's not that much different. And maybe in some samples, it actually works like that. But look at this, the write speed is actually higher because they claim it to be up to 3200 megabytes. And we are actually outperforming this result. We're getting 3,257 megabytes per second. Anyway, it stays within like 90% of its performance and, and in the right speed, it actually outperforms 100% of what they claim. So yeah, definitely a good purchase. I really like it. And as you saw in comparison to the real world conditions, like when I try to copy a 10 gigabyte folder from one disk to another, the read speed was about 1.75 gigabyte per second or 1,750 megabytes and the write speed was about one and a half gigabyte per second. So that is not, of course, 3200 megabyte, but this is like the perfect world conditions. This is a synthetic test. This is like absolute maximum it can give. Yeah, just in case you guys wondering if you should get one, well, there is the results right here. I really think if you have just a regular SATA SSD or even a hard drive, that would be absolute must to get this one because you're gonna see a drastic change in transfer speeds. And if you're planning to install an operating system on this drive, you're not going to see too much difference between the regular SATA SSD and the NVMe SSD. And the main reason why you want to buy this drive is because you can transfer files a lot quicker. And especially if you're working with big files, like when you do content creating, when you have a lot of video files that you need to transfer real quick and that the program need to access quickly, then having this fast drives would be absolute must if you want to save yourself some time okay guys thank you very much for watching i hope you have a nice day if you have any questions please leave them in the comment section below also if you find this video helpful i appreciate it give it a like and subscribe to my channels for more interesting videos this is it for now i hope you have a nice day and bye for now